what's up guys, LG Reviews. I'm going to start this video off by saying that, sorry that I didn't do this review earlier, but now it's here. I was meant to do the review on the day my ocarina came, and if you have not seen my last video and all that lot, I'll show you the, review, the game I'm going to review in a minute. But, what else is coming up this week is going to be... I'm going to be showing a load of my games off, my, my PS2, to Wii, GameCube, DS, and also back in 1978, I think it was, I can't remember now, but back to the N64 days, which is quite a really, really good year for my thing, because I used to play N64 like, I don't know what, basically, and now I play the Wii as like I don't know what. But sometimes they get out. I was bit or been all, out all last week, so the reason why I didn't get around to doing it. I went bowling with some mates. Of course, I lost two games, and you wouldn't want one game and stuff like that. But I all want stuff to come up during this week. Right, so the game that was, if you watched my last video, the game I was going to review that day of my ocarina game was, of course, Bounty Hunter, the old GameCube version. Also, I think that's right, I'll tell you more about it when I'm playing it. Also, when I was going to, to the charge shop, I didn't buy it, of course, I didn't have any money on me. Went to a, sort of a old N64 game, which is a very, very first, first person shooter game, for two pounds course, which was the original James Bond Goldeneye from the N64. And because I didn't realise my mate has gone and bought it, so he's going to be bringing it around and might actually review it, you know. But uh, anyway, let's just get on to doing the review of this, shall we? Here we go guys, with a bit of the actual gameplay of it. The information about this game, it came out on November 19th. 2002 for the PS2 and GameCube. This game takes a little bit after, um, shortly after um, the actual first Star Wars episode one, Phantom Menace. Jonah Fett hunting down a criminal, criminal called Miko Chaitos. For that, for his friends, what is that? The toy Dorian. Toy Dorian. I don't know how you say that one, but you would have probably expect me. Django, of course, after the capture of Django, receives a transmission from Darth Tyrannus, which is also known as Count Dooku, as in the film. We're just seeing Count Dooku and, of course, Bounty Hunter Jango Fett in Attack of the Crows. The rating for this on IGN is an 8.3, which is a bit low in my opinion because it should have been like 0.5. The press rate score is 7.2 and the 1140 rating reading is 7.9 which is still a little bit low don't know why it's keeping getting lower and lower it was designed by Luxus LucasArts and the designer of the actual game was John Knowles 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 yes it Knowles it an action single player game. Uh, it's a, it's ratings was for the L E L S P A was the level plus the E S P E S R B was a T, which is an American copy. GameCube this that slash DVD ROM and then to do a little bit of a um, 
sort of the beginning of the bit of story, so don't worry, don't have to worry about me um, ruining the whole story for you guys. But it starts off with him telling us that being captured. You get to actually find bounty people during the game by using your scanner, your ID scanner. Sometimes they're droids, so you gotta watch out for that. They just had to scan anything and everything. No bounty, we'll say no bounty are posted. Stuff like that. These guys in here won't have any bounty on their head, so you don't have to worry about them. Just have to kill them. Help them there, so I'm gonna get it. Droid about, kill it. Really, but I'm not going to. This game, in my opinion, should have gotten 9.5. It should have got... Maybe basically a 10, in my opinion. You blow out gangster casters along the way to kill your enemies. Don't stand next, really, really close to them, because you just kill yourself. You get these guys after you, who are off from, of course, Job of the Hut. I think later on in the game, I have a piece of it, of course, my last memory card kept corrupting it. So I wouldn't have completed this game yet, properly. Got it like halfway through it, and then it corrupted it after the next day after I got back to it. The graphics, in my opinion, are really good for a GameCube game. The GameCube was actually a really good console. Shame that they're rare to get nowadays, and some people sell so expensive on eBay. But it's a bit pointless, really, in my opinion, because it's a um, really old console. Why they should put it cheaper? If you look at the PS2, they look at the games there. They're all like cheap. GameCube games are like what? In the 15, probably in 20 some time, because I've seen the um, Wind Waker, of course, in the 36 pounds um, section. This is stupid. I mean, the PS2 games I saw in uh, my no game store game, they, um, they were um, score the actual prices are like, I saw for, four for about tenner. I got myself, uh, of course, DPS2 games, I've got myself uh, True Crime, Streets of LA, and of course, another good game I liked was um, the old fashioned um, Deep Speed Underground 2, and, and of course the new ones, and Cover, Carbon, and all them lot. Which all, I like Deep Speed, of course, pretty good game. Of course, I don't want to spoil this game too much for you, so I'm going to end it here soon. So I'm going to end it here, actually, right now. After I kill these guys. Of course, there's guys, there's guys down here. I'm not going to look for the bounty, because of course they're going to kill me. You get about five lives during each level, or each chapter. Which is pretty good for a game. You get, usually don't get that many, you got to save and everything, sometimes it gets lower light than that, so... Anyways, rate, comment, subscribe, video posts, to see what you think about the game. Up to you guys, alright? I'll be doing more videos this week. I'll show you my Wii games, to the PS2, DS, GameCube, and the old classic N64. I'll see you around guys, alright? I'll see you on my YouTube account. See ya!